Hello, hello friends. Welcome to Kira's YouTube channel. Here we focus on tips to grow your cat's Instagram account and other kitty related topics. It's the best of keeks, unedited and using my phone. Yay. What do you guys think of my intro? <laughs> uh, I decided I want to make some type of intro to let you know uh, what the channel is about. So yeah, anyway, um, today I'm just going to get started. Um, with a few tips on how to grow your Instagram account. Um, so I first thing I wanna do um, is give credit where credit is due uh, and say that when I first started trying to grow Kira's Instagram account, um, I the first thing I do, and well, here's the first tip, <laughs> is to go on and watch some YouTube videos. There are a bunch of people on YouTube who have lots of great information, um, you know, they're professionals, they do this for their full-time job, uh, telling people about how to grow people or human Instagram accounts. So that was uh, something that I kind of just stumbled on looking, I was trying to look about how to grow pet accounts and stuff, and I found that there was a lot more information about people accounts. Um, so I just want to give that as the first tip. Now, the three main people that I uh, enjoyed and got a lot of great information from, I will link uh, in the description. You can subscribe to them. I'm subscribed to them. Um, so those uh, three ladies are Katie Steckley, Vanessa Lau, and Sunny Leonard Doozy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, um, when I was first looking into how to grow Kira's account, uh, I got so much great information. And, you know, of course, I still watch their videos, still watch what they're doing, um, you know, for the advice they give for people accounts. And the way I would like to make you know, this channel a little bit uh, different or, or whatever is just to expand on my personal experience with how I have uh, applied their advice in the pet community, in the kitty community, um, which I hope will help people who are trying to grow pet accounts or, you know, well, specifically cat accounts. Um, so, but as a starting point, since I'm just, you know, getting started here uh, on YouTube, um, please, you know, go look at those channels for tons of, you know, great information um, on how to grow people accounts, human accounts. I do think there are some, you know, differences between uh, some of the things you can do. And so that's what I'll get, you know, into on this channel here. But um, I still watch all of their videos. I find it so helpful, um, you know, when I was uh, just starting and now just it's uh, a wealth of information out there. So go take a look at that. Um, the second tip I have, which everyone will say on all of their accounts as well as other accounts that are talking about growing up, the human Instagrams, people, in, I don't know which one to say, human people, anyway, <laughs> uh, is to, you should definitely switch over to a business account. I didn't understand this at first because I thought, this isn't a business, I don't know, what, uh, you know, I thought that was for uh, corporations or something, <laughs> I don't know, I was just, uh, you know, as confused about that, but you can uh, switch over to a business account. Um, you absolutely should do that because it gives you great um, insight uh, into who is uh, your you know, audience, where they're coming from. So it'll break down the location, um, male, uh, female, like uh, percentages and times of day when people are most active, um, you know, uh, your followers are most active. So you can know when are the good times to post. Uh, so this information is all very helpful. And I think it takes about seven days to, um, kind of for Instagram to kind of uh, get all your information together, um, you know, and uh, put those metrics together, so to speak. So uh, you might have to wait, you know, about a week for it to kind of like, um, uh, I don't know what the right word is, but basically to get it together. So it, it's very useful once you start, uh, the more you post, the more you're active, the more you start, um, you know, really using Instagram and everything for your cat's account, the more, uh, in, you know, you'll see that information changing and stuff over time. There's graphs and everything. It's just very, very helpful. Um, I look at it every day, uh, kind of, you know, just to get an idea of when to post uh, the times. They usually stay pretty consistent. I mean, the, for, for me at least, you know, midday, noon, it has always been pretty much every day the most popular time uh, to post. Um, but who knows, maybe depending on your region or, you know, where you are, it could be something else. So definitely switch to a business account and you can hide, um, if you want, you can hide what uh, title you select. So you have to select something like blogger, uh, you know, you know, something like that. You can pick anything. It doesn't, I don't think it doesn't uh, matter too much. I mean, you could, I think you could pick creator, um, for your title, uh, 
you know, if you've ever seen profiles that already have that for pets where it says, you know, fashion model or something like that, uh, that means that person has the business account and they've chosen to show their title on their profile. So you can show it or you can hide it. So, um, you know, obviously Kira's profile doesn't have that because I just personally chose to hide it. Um, and so it just, you, you know, you can't automatically tell she has that, uh, you know, um, a business account, but she does. And uh, so do uh, plenty of people on Instagram. So go ahead and switch to the business account and see those great, um, you know, metrics there. And um, let's see, that was my second one. So the third one I have uh, is to think about why you want to grow. Why do you want to grow uh, your cat's Instagram account? Because this is going to be very helpful in driving, uh, you know, what you're kind of posting about and that type of thing. Um, you know, is it just simply to share? For many people, of course, it's to share these like adorable pictures of your cats and to engage with others and have fun in the community. Um, but are you trying to do something more? You know, maybe you're trying to raise money for a charity. Maybe you're trying to provide um, specific medical information. Maybe you are, uh, I don't know, some something else and trying to um, get a business started, like a, a cat sitting business. Maybe you're trying to grow uh, a cat related or products um, as a new person on Etsy or something like that, like a small business. Um, so yeah, definitely think about what you're trying to accomplish. And, you know, in the people accounts, they always say to pick a niche. So I guess that's kind of like what my advice would be for the same for cat accounts is like, think about your niche and where you're kind of going with this uh, Instagram account, because people uh, do enjoy following kind of something, um, you know, more specific, or they just for cats and pets enjoy following beautiful photography. So, um, you know, obviously, there's plenty of people on here who are professional photographers, and, you know, maybe already have jobs, you know, and this is just a way of they already got it down. This is just a way of promoting their business. But if you're just getting started, and you're not, you know, really sure, um, you know, I think you're just starting with your pets account. And it's like, oh, I think this might be for fun, but I do want it to grow because that's kind of like, you know, what I did with Kira, it was just so, you know, my friend slash Zumba instructor said, you should put Kira on Instagram. And I was like, oh, ha ha. Okay. You know, <laughs> I had no idea what I was exactly going to do other than wanting to have a memory. And so I, you know, for me at first, it was like uh, creating uh, memories for me and just having her pictures in one place. Um, and then I started to, to think, you know, I do want to make this kind of nicer. I saw all these really pretty profiles and, and I said, you know, I want to see what I can do with this and just make it nice for her. And then soon enough, it, you know, started growing and it actually expanded my own interest in photography, which I've always had, but I just wanted to keep, you know, going with that. It really got me excited about editing photos and I just started to really enjoy it more than I uh, ever thought I would <laughs> at first. So, um, yeah, I, when you're first starting, just kind of think about those things. And uh, since then, I just, uh, you know, since uh, building up Kira's account, I thought, what else could I be doing? And so now it has turned into this YouTube channel. Um, I just figured I basically need to play with Kira every day. You know, we wake up and play for uh, at least, you know, 15 to 20 minutes uh, and then other intervals throughout the day. She needs a lot of play because she is a kitten, of course. So I just thought, why not make videos and talk about our experience and just hoping that this will help other people in the community. So that's kind of what her um, niche, I guess, has turned, you know, into is just sort of um, providing tips um, on growing your pet's account. And then, I mean, of course, I also, uh, you know, haven't decided to limit it quite there. I definitely do have plans um, to uh, do other things with Kira. For those of you who don't know, I'm in graduate school. I'm getting a PhD in counseling psychology. So um, I, you know, uh, would love it if someday <laughs> this has inspired me to seek, um, and I don't know if there's anyone who could leave information in the comments, that would be awesome, um, to seek information on, on how to possibly see if Kira could become a therapy cat. Um, those are some of, you know, my later long-term plans, um, just for her personally. So, um, yeah, if anyone has any information about that, please let me know. Also as a new person to YouTube, um, what was I going to, oh, is the length of videos. I'm trying to keep these, I guess, on the shorter side. And of course I've already been talking for almost 10 minutes now. <laughs> um, they took a long time, you know, or it took a long time to upload my first video the other day. So, um, 
she is watching this by the way over here anyway <laughs> uh it, it took a while to upload so i don't know if that's just my old laptop you know just being old and i have you know i'm one of those people who is like oh you need to update this or your your everything's gonna crash and, and i'm like oh i'll do it later <laughs> So I'm pretty much waiting for my technology to crash uh, and, you know, get new stuff <laughs> any day. But uh, I'm not very good at, at up updating and things like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm wondering if that could be if taking so long to upload the first video uh, was because of, um, you know, maybe my stuff is just old or whatnot or I haven't updated things or if because it's uh, going on YouTube, if this is common, like uploads. Uh, just take a long time. I'm a learn as you go person, uh, you know, here and on the channel. So if anybody knows uh, that stuff about YouTube, please let me know in the comments or feel free to DM me. Um, you know, I will uh, really appreciate that information. Um, anyways, I hope you guys found this initial video helpful and we will be back with more on tips to grow your account, product reviews, um, and you know, outdoor adventure kitty topics. We're just gonna do a whole bunch of things, it's not completely limited to growing the account, but that is the main focus um, at the moment. So there's always room to expand, but I just wanted to get some quick tips out to you guys today. Okay, Kira, <laughs> she wandered the tunnel. Okay, I guess we're gonna do um, our little closing. I made a closing statement as well. <laughs> So if you've made it uh, to the end of this video and you like what you saw, get your paws out and subscribe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye from Kira. Bye. Bye guys.